swarms of flying ants appeared in parts of the UK last night as Britain braces for a plague of the insects over coming days. But what is Flying Ant Day and why do ants grow wings? The sightings of flying ants last night suggest that so-called Flying Ant Day is almost here. Every summer, normally in July or August, huge numbers of male worker ants and young queen ants will suddenly develop wings. The day when the most flying ant sightings take place has been dubbed Flying Ant Day, even though not all ants will fly on the same day. The flying ant period can last up to a few weeks, depending the location of the ants, species, local weather and a number of other factors. What happens on Flying Ant Day? Why do ants grow wings? In the UK, it is the small black garden ant, Lazius niger, formis ID, that will take to the sky. Their nests have a single queen and typically about 5,000 workers, although there can be as many as 15,000. New queens will fly away each year to mate with winger male ants and start a new colony of their own. The ants will mate midair in a nuptial flight before queens lose their wings and land on the ground to start a new colony. After flying ant day, you can sometimes see large queen ants walking around, looking for somewhere to nest. The queen ants will likely mate with several males during the nuptial flight period. They can store sperm in their abdomen for a lifetime after the mating period and can use it to fertilize millions of eggs. The male worker ants will only live for a day or two after the nuptial flights. David Cross, head of the Technical Training Academy at Rentacle Pest Control, said, the past few weeks have been on the whole, very warm, which could explain why some areas have seen a sudden increase in ant populations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.